Hello, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like subscribe. So uh, this painting has been through a lot. I scrapped what's beneath it, and this is probably the fourth painting painted on top of this canvas. I think I got a picture of the last two, but not the first one. But this will be the fourth one. It's because I paint something and then I don't love it, and I just no sense of keeping it if I don't think it's like good enough to keep. So then I keep painting over it and over it until someday, and I think this is will be the final one. I love what is on the canvas and I like painting over paintings because it's like it leaves something behind. It's kind of like they say everything you go through live, good or bad, it kind of prepares you for what's about to happen. So I think every painting painted below this kind of created the texture and the tactile quality that this canvas now possesses which I think will be very interesting. So yeah, let's see what this... I want it to be very modern, very monochromatic, blacks, grays, maybe just a dash of color here and there, blues, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. So Alright, I know it looks pretty whack right now but I needed to change up the texture because everything was very like prickly because of what was underneath so I'm trying to smooth it out. So I don't really like this color blue so it's something that I can use to layer and then just paint over. But yeah, now this is this was really prickly now it's more smooth I'm trying to disguise the flowers a little bit so they're not that obvious all right so I'm trying a lot of textures on this painting and I'm trying to remove a lot of the daisies that were on the previous paintings because it was just too distracting so I bought this uh, Lucatex basic acrylic modeling paste and then I just added it with this palette knife so added some texture to the head to the horns um, I'm gonna add more here because I want this to be a relief and then after I after I dried overnight then I sanded it to remove some of the rough edges but you can still see some of the daisies but that's what it looks like currently added some texture to the horns outlined it in black because I was starting to lose the lines so I don't want to lose those and I do want this to be very gray and white and black and a lot of gradients in the gray gradient is that a word and I added a little bit more pattern because I love pattern. So now I'm adding color, gray base, white, and adding some texture. <clears throat> oh, there's a the shadow. Whoops, that's not gonna work. Well, how rude. So this is where we're at now. I have a lot of texture. I'm starting to have the colors. This is not going to be this color. It's going to be a lot of black and a lot of dark browns, but this will be light. I'm really loving this. It's going to have an ear tag here. And there's, this is so cool. I, I wish you could touch this. So this is where I'm at right now. I don't like this right here, so this has to be redone. The horns still need a lot of work, the background is like, actually, it's like maybe 30% done. It's gonna have an ear tag with my grandpa's branding number, but since it doesn't have a butt, I can't brand it out there, so I'll just put it in the ear tag. And this is gonna be very dark right here. Actually, it's gonna be very dark. And this will be, well, that side over there, and this will be very, very white. And I love yellow, and I always incorporate, incorporate yellow somehow. I love that it's so textured, like, obviously you probably can't see that because the video and photographs don't show that, but it's very, very textured. And I like for my paintings to have a, a strong tactile quality, and then I'm all about pattern. Alright, so this is where we're at. I kind of like this a lot better now that it's darker. Now I need to take some of this off because this is too messy, so I'm going to start bringing in the white. The horns, to nail. everything needs a lot of work, actually. Alright, so we're at the final stages, um, this is still going to be darker, this is still going to be whiter, and then I think I'm going to add gray in there, and then the horns, and then outline, and then that's it. Alright, so I feel like it's done, except it has to be signed. I, I love it, I love the texture, I wish you could touch it. It's so gorge. What is this? Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't notice that. I don't know if I like those two dots there. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh man, I don't I didn't see any of that crap. <laughs>
Alright, so this is what it was missing. Actually, it's missing my signature. But I wanted to put the frame on first because sometimes I write it crooked. That way I have kind of like a straight line. Rosco 19. I, I wonder if this will be my last year of the painting. I mean, my last painting of the year. Probably not. Maybe the biggest one, but not the last one. This is pretty large. And it's super heavy because the frame's heavy and then all the stuff that I added on it caused it to be really heavy. So I think to hang it, it would need like a screw, not a nail. It's too heavy for a nail. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. But yeah, that's it for today. Until next time, adios, Eli.